seconds out, round one. So we're underway then. A light heavyweight contest scheduled for four three-minute rounds between boxers from the United Kingdom and Spain. The boxer wearing the red and black. Quite sure how you describe that. Reminiscent of what twin Prince Nassim Ahmed used to wear, as you see him. It's not shadow boxing, but shadow balling. Going to the crossover dribble between his legs before poking Castano with a right hand. That's Michael Venom Page, the man making his professional boxing debut, switching from the sport of kickboxing, which he's practiced since the age of five. The man who is covering up on the ropes is Jonathan Castano from Spain. And a typically confident start, I say typically, because this is the type of showmanship he exhibits in the realm of mixed martial arts, but a confident start from MVP. Michael Venom Page has a high-level blend of elite striking skills that was fine-tuned in the art of full-contact kickboxing. He transitioned to MMA, became very successful with the type of footwork and hands-low approach that you are seeing here. The punches come in from odd angles. They are difficult to read, difficult to defend, and they have power that has proven devastating. So approaching the midpoint of this opening round, a round in which Castano hasn't showed very much to this point. Wasn't too far away with that left hand before being made to miss rather badly. Page, nickname is Venom, hence the acronym MVP. Valuable will all of that combat experience prove to be here in the boxing ring. Plenty of fainting, but looking for that Hollywood lead right hand, he was some way short of the mark, Page. All the fighters fall into a clinch, forcing the intervention of Bob Williams. Typically, we see this from MVP. He will sort of audit and exploit. He will get a read on his opponent, see the way that they move, try to find their headspace, and then capitalize with punches. But it's been a good early survival mode, if you will, for Castano, but he's backing up in a straight line. MVP is trying to gauge that there in the way that he chains his combinations. His 11 defeats, Castano, as he got through the good right hand page, wasn't too far away. But if his 11 defeats, five of them have come inside the distance. You can see from the stature of Page, physically really does bring to mind the late Bob Foster, light heavyweight kingpin who stood around six feet three inches tall. Devastating left hook. Was simply unbeatable against light heavyweights. But will he prove to have even an ounce of the prowess that Bob Foster possessed in the ropes arena? First round in the book. Michael Venom Page showing a few flashes of the punch picking he possesses. Yep. Let's see if we can listen in. Jimmy Tibbs oh, on the outside the ropes. Okay. Ismail Salas with the water on the inside in the okay, cap. I, I like you to keep flowing. You're doing very, very good. But behind your leading hand. When you work with well, your leading jab, I need to mix it up. One jab, one down. Change with your right. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy your game. I know you can do. Let's take a look at some of the action there about the way that MVP kept on using intercepting shots. He could read that his opponent in Castano was coming forward very predictably or moreover at times freezing. There that beautiful down punch, that right hand catch a lot of velocity and then MVP disengages on his terms. Seconds out, round two. MVP out with a hard right hand once again. And because of his prowess in the realm of mixed martial arts and the pending debut here in the professional boxing ring, when the best boxer of his generation, one of the best of all time, Floyd Money Mayweather, stepped back into the ring for his 50th contest as he gets through with a corkscrew right uppercut and then mimics a little bit of body popping. After landing a good right hand MVP, and again, that's why the shots are so difficult to read. Reminiscent of, of Emmanuel Augustus, the drunken master who competed so effectively in the professional boxing ring during the 1990s. We call this one the MVP shuffle. And that jab will come out and he'll sort of try to blind you and then in comes the power punch from the rear hand. 
So Beautiful dangerous. left jab from MVP. And there's that same shot in evidence once more. Beautiful hard ramrod left. Just reddening the face now of Castano. And we saw him going for the Hollywood shots in the opening round, but working behind this left jab, he's looking altogether more effective than Michael Venom Page. Castano has done well to try to parry some of those punches, but it's so difficult to do when he comes in so unpredictably, mixing things up and almost distracting you. This is MVP 101, though. He'll set traps, read you, and then fight with that IQ that is so difficult to counter. Just mentioning before he got to work with that left jab, he tries a hard right hand which goes over the top of Castano's head. But because of his prowess in MMA and the pro debut that was on the cards, he's used as a pundit by many news outlets in the build up to Mayweather versus McGregor. That's a flashing right uppercut which causes Castano to hold on. Very accurate work here from MVP. He knows when to turn on the power. And this comes from that points fighting style that he learned and really developed a basin in full contact. The waist up rules kickboxing. Well, in anticipation of this debut, heard Page saying that he's been in the ring with a few prominent fighters and many fighters learning their trade as well in the gyms in and around London. I've spoken to many of the men who runs said gyms as referee Bob Williams going to have a bit of a word with Michael Venom Page for hitting behind the head. Remember, Joe Calzaghe employed that tactic during his master class against Jeff Lacey. And that was perhaps the only inconvenience Joe Calzaghe suffered that night up in Manchester as Michael Venom Page trying to put combinations together and keep the pressure on Castano. But in speaking with those men and women in the gyms around London, all of them came away with the same appraisal of Page's skills, that he is very much for real, and they hope to see him progress in the realm of professional boxing. Second round in the books. Okay, listen. And here was MVP again with that corkscrew uppercut slash drunken master routine. Castano forced to clinch there, actually. That was a really solid shot. And the kind of momentum that you can create from that rear hand more distance, more inertia, more power. He is so difficult, really, to read and get a good gauge on where your defense needs to be. Castano employing more of a traditional boxing guard, but it hasn't proven as effective as I think he would like it to be against MVP. Seconds out, round three. So into the third round then, and it's a fast start to begin this third stanza by Michael Page, the boxer in the black and red. Rather untidy at close range. As Costano clenching at close quarters. Missing rather wildly with the attempted right uppercut and left hook. But again, once he uses that jab, I know he doesn't like to operate behind the verities of textbook conventional boxing Michael Page, but when he uses the jab... Oh, what a right hand! And down goes Castano! Referee Bob Williams tolling the count, and that one shot the Spaniard down to his boots. He's beaten the count, but it has been waved off. Jonathan Castano protesting, but Michael Page boxing debut a debut where he showed flashes of the footwork that he possesses the fluidity a jolting left jab throughout the course of the second round but then in round number three he uncoiled a conventional right cross that sent castano down to the canvas it landed flush and despite beating the count referee bob williams an experienced official looked into the eyes of the man from spain and called this one off that was a beautiful right hand, textbook closure of the distance, and landing bang on the bullseye. MVP floors Castano. And I was looking for him to start to use more than single punches, 